Okay, next up, we're going to do an example involving basic electric circuits. Let's say that you've got a battery, some voltage E, you have a bunch of wires strung together with resistances or resistors stuck inside of them. These have resistances R1, R2, up through R5. Along each of these wires, there's some current flowing in some direction. Pick your favorite direction, whatever, and then call these currents I1 up through I5. Now, to solve for the currents, you use something called Kirchhoff's laws. If you've seen it before, great. If you haven't, ah, don't worry about it. Skip this example or check it out. It's not so bad. What does Kirchhoff's law say? The first one says that at a node where wires are coming in, wires are going out, the net current in has to equal the net current out. So take a look at that purple node there. How much current is flowing in? I1. How much current is flowing out? Well, there are two wires going out, I2 and I3. So I1 equals I2 plus I3. That's it, conservation of current. Now, do the same thing at another node. Let's say that orange one right there. What that's going to tell you is the current in, I3, is equal to the net current out, I4 plus I5. Okay, that's all we need as far as uh, that uh, current balancing, but there's one more aspect we need in order to get solutions. This is the second part of Kirchhoff's law. This has to do with net voltage drops across loops, that those have to be zero. So pick a loop in this circuit, take a look. Oh, there's that battery guy there with that net voltage E. The statement of Kirchhoff's laws is that the voltage drop given across the resistors, that is I1 times R1 plus I2 times R2, has to equal that voltage E. Now you apply the same thing to the two other loops that are involved. Again, you get two other equations. On the right-hand side, you're gonna get zero because there are no batteries in those loops. And on the left-hand side, you're gonna get uh, currents times resistances, maybe with minus signs, depending on the direction the current is pointed. In the end, you got five equations, five unknowns, I1 up through I5. You pull out all of these constants in front of them that involve these resistances. And then on the right-hand side, you have a vector that is mostly zeros, but has that one E in it from that third equation. Okay, five equations, five unknowns. We can solve this. There's a unique solution, and that tells you how the electricity is flowing through the circuit. That's the basic idea of simple mesh analysis. Just using Kirchhoff's laws, you get to a system of linear equations.